Hi everybody. Well, in this household, it is finally time to do some spring cleaning, but it's gonna be more like spring decluttering. At least that's the goal for today. My goals for spring cleaning are really simple because I still have someone that follows me around the house, which makes it difficult to, you know, bust out carpet machines or pull out appliances while nobody else is here to watch her. So um, this morning, my goal is to go through all of the kids' toys and all of their clothes because they have toys they're not playing with and they have clothes they're no longer able to wear and it's time to pack all that stuff up and put it out in the garage to store. Are you saying hi? Look at you. She's almost walking, almost there. All right, let's do this. Let's get to work. Let's go. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we are finally starting some spring cleaning and we are just, you know, scratching the surface here. There's so much that I'd like to do, um, but you know, it's extra and I already, you know, I'm busy running every single day. But today I took the time to go through all of the toys and go through all of the girls' clothes and really um, get that stuff taken care of. It's been kind of weighing on my mind for a while with how big Frey has gotten. I knew that there was toys that needed to be put away and I knew that there was clothes that weren't fitting anybody. So today's the day to start spring cleaning. Uh, so today we are decluttering. If you've never been here before, welcome to my channel, Clean the Day. My name is Erin. I'm a wife and a mommy. I have two girls, Mercy and Freya, and they are three and one. And as you can see right here, Freya is undoing everything that I am doing, <laughs> but that's okay. And uh, if you are back um, and you've been here before then welcome back I am so happy to have you if you like this content please hit the like button and think about subscribing to my channel so you can see more here she is unpacking the box that I just started packing I just wanna see the light Yeah, I just wanna see the light For now, we don't really have any toys to actually get rid of. You know, unless they're broken, then we would probably just throw them out. I don't have any toys at this time to donate. We decided to just keep everything, um, you know, in case we decide to grow our family later and then we'll have those toys again. Most of what I pulled out was um, the zero to three uh, toys. We still have a lot of like little baby infant toys and Freya doesn't really get anything out of those anymore so it just made sense to get them cleaned up and get Mercy's room organized again. So this is the 
toy storage in Mercy's room and I tried to keep it to Mercy's toys. The only thing in here that's about Freya's age ish are actually the blocks. So I might switch the blocks out for something else that she might need a little more room for. So otherwise, this is looking really good uh, for now and I still need to tackle at least putting away the toys in the play area. The funny thing about the play area is everything down there is relatively new. So weird how that works out. But I do have some infant, um, you know, first year toys that Frey is not interested in at all anymore and I'm going to go ahead and get those packed up. I did not realize how bad this camera angle was, but this is the box of infant um, zero to six months about toys and I'm putting them in that box, but I completely blocked it. So moving into Mercy's room, I do call it Mercy's room, but it's actually the girl's room, but Mercy's the one that uses it right now. I just needed to straighten up before I could start working on uh, the clothes. So straighten up, I'm gonna strip her bed so I can get her bedding cleaned and clean out the diaper genie and then we'll start sorting clothes. So we are what I like to call pest survivors. So all of our mattresses are in mattress protectors. I highly recommend them. Um, they're waterproof and they help protect against any kind of pest. I sprayed the outside with water and rubbing alcohol uh, to disinfect it. But um, we've had all kinds. Um, fleas are generally what we have to deal with because of the cats. But um, they just started a new flea medication and it's been working really good. So the mattress protectors are there just in case I don't think we got it I try to change the things you never like try to make this better make this right but we're the same even though I changed really made an effort promise I would change but something stay the same wanted to do better wanted to be great but something stayed the same In the country. So I'm starting this process by removing all of the clothes that Mercy either doesn't wear, they don't fit, or they're winter clothes. So I removed all of the sweaters and extra jackets that we don't need um, hanging around and I took out dresses from the closet that are just too small or seasonal and um, gosh I really packed up and put a lot away. But it felt really good and their drawers are so much more organized now. Try to make this better, make this right, but we're the same. Even though I changed. Really made an effort, promise I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same. Something stayed the same. Effort, promise I would change, but something stayed the same. Wanted to do better, wanted to be great, but something stayed the same.
I've just finished with decluttering uh, the girls' clothes, or at least Mercy's clothes. <coughs> so this is all winter clothes. There's a few baby things in there. I'm just going to label every single thing that's in here. So there's winter coats, um, some jackets, sweaters, sweats, um, but it's really for both of the girls. So when I need clothes of either size, I'll know I can look in this bin. And so for her drawers, I have them pretty well organized. She wears a uniform shirt to school, which is these polos here, and then her shorts and skirts and her long pants. Try to make it really easy for her to see so she can pick out her clothes every night before bed. And then she has her regular shirts and then all of this is night clothes. I took out all of the fleece. I took out all of the long sleeves. I mean, this is Florida and it's just way too hot for that. And then her socks. And then I'm going to go through Freya's drawers right here and I'm going to pull out everything that she no longer needs um, to wear. So making progress. Feels right. Can't get my head around it. I can never hit the brakes. Every time you touch me, babe. You send me right out into space. Luckily, I have already worked on Miss Freya's drawers, so they were already pretty well organized. Uh, containers came from Walmart, but all of her winter and long sleeve stuff has been taken out. I left one sweater just in case. You never know. And this is all her pants, her shorts, uh, her night sleepers, which she really doesn't wear much anymore, and her socks and knee pads. Um, she wears little knee pads because she's still quite the crawler. And then the last drawer here. These are things that are going to be fitting her very, very, very soon. She just needs to grow a couple inches and that's it. And I have these adorable, adorable little poop bear letters to go up um, just like Mercy does. So I'll probably put Freya's up there. So I'll try to get to that. It's hard. Um, right now, I'm going to focus on cleaning up this room, straightening up the mess that I've made, and getting the dirty laundry out. She was in love with a boy, in love with a girl, so in love with the world, so beautiful. She was in love with the night, the way the sun shines, all she needed was love. Nobody can make her feel down She was always smiling from me to end And everybody wondered if round Would she ever know the feeling of tears Oh, she said to So let me know in the comments um, where you are watching from I love seeing all the different comments after I upload a video and it's really fun for me to find out where people are watching from so let me know in the comments where you're tuning in from I'm just finishing up this room with a good vacuum I do have to clean the steps you'll see that it was very satisfying at the end so also tell me um, how much spring cleaning do you do um, this will probably be the first year that I'm really doing a lot of spring cleaning our house just needs it so um, like I said before, if you like this content, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you are interested in any more. We would love to have you. And um, I hope that everybody is having a wonderful spring. It's getting really, really hot in Florida, but well, we're here to get some work done. I've got some really great stuff to show you. I even have a new carpet cleaner that we'll be unboxing very soon. I will try to get these videos out in a timely manner. 
that is probably my one weakness here is not getting videos out in a very consistent manner. So I'm going to try to get my videos out every Sunday and maybe a bonus video in the week. And I will try to be um, very open about when I'm able to upload. I hope this video has left you motivated and ready to get started on your spring cleaning. So um, I hope that you are all having a wonderful week. Um, today I am doing this on a Friday. So I hope you've all had a wonderful week and I hope you're going to have a great weekend and I will be seeing you soon.